Hi guys, welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. I want to say welcome all. Happy, happy Sunday. Today I'm going to be sharing a recipe with you guys for my Sunday dinner and it is no other but a vegetable cook-up rice and bang, fried bango mary. So if you guys want to see this version of the vegetable cook-up rice with red peas and fried bango mary, come on down, let's get cooking. So I'm gonna be making some red peas cook up with fried fish. And last night I soaked some red peas and this is what it looks like before I soak it. It's, it was nice and hard and it was um, like very, very red. And it came in, it is this cedar brand like this. Guyana, we have some red peas and I can never find the same red peas here, but I find something very close to it, which is um, the cedar brand. So what I did, I soak it overnight. You can soak it for a few hours as well. And then they become very nice and plump compared to this. So very nice and plump. But what I noticed, the color is not so red anymore. So I'm going to rinse it out from this water that I had it soaking in last night. And I'm going to boil it until they're nice and soft before I start cooking the cook-up rice. So my water is boiling hot. I just added about a teaspoon of salt. And now I'm going to be adding that red peas that I had soaking. And I just rinse it. It is nice and clean. I'm going to add it to the boiling hot water. And I'm going to cook these until all the peas are nice and soft. And then I'll show you the next step. So I'm using uh, the PSI uh, Mid-Atlantic Seafood. And this is uh, Bang Mary from Guyana. It comes straight from Guyana. And if you look here, it is product of Guyana. I like to use this Bang Mary because I find it's nice. It, they taste really good. So I'm going to thaw this out and then I'll show you guys how I'm preparing it to eat with our cook-up rice today. So for my cook-up rice today, I'm going to be using a fresh coconut. I just have to break it and take the coconut pieces out of the shell and we will grind this up in our omega juicer to get that nice rich coconut milk to add to our cook-up rice. Look how beautiful is this fresh coconut and I tasted piece of it and it is so sweet and that tells me right away that the milk will be very sweet as well. So that have a lot to do with the milk that you're using. If the coconut doesn't have a good taste, the milk wouldn't taste nice as well. So what I usually do, I would taste my coconut, like piece of it before I add it to my dish and if it have like a rancid kind of taste I wouldn't add it to my dish because it would ruin the whole dish so this one here is just a perfect one because you can't cook a nice good cook up rice without coconut milk so these are some of the ingredients I'm going to be adding to my cook up rice and I know I have more than one recipe for cook up rice on my channel but every time I make it I do them differently. So I have here some green onions, a regular onion. I have some marguerite pepper. I'm gonna cut up about two to add to the dish and the other ones, I'll just leave them whole into the pot. And a star for cook up rice is fine thyme. I'm gonna be adding some pumpkin, some okra and some spinach. I still have to wash my spinach. And in here I have some frozen marred man pork. It's a similar herb to basil, but a little bit more um, strong in flavor. And this goes very well with cook up rice um, as well. So I'm gonna cut up all these ingredients here and then I will show you how I put all the flavor together.
gonna start cooking our cook up rice now and I'm gonna add my oil was warming up I'm gonna add the onions first and those two peppers that I cut up and some of my green onions the rest will go in later and we're gonna mix this up I just have about two teaspoons of oil in the bottom so we're gonna cook this until it is nice and brown and then we'll start adding more flavors so my seasoning is browning up nicely I'm gonna be adding the rice now and I wash the rice a few times so the white starchiness can come out and I'm gonna add all this rice so we're gonna turn this off and mix all that goodness nicely and I like to add my ingredients like my dry ingredients into the rice before I add the liquid so now I'm gonna go in with some salt just about a teaspoon and a half of salt we can always add more later I'm gonna add my fine thyme and I'm adding a generous amount all the ingredients and the measurement will be in the description below I'm gonna go in with my black pepper now Again. so you're gonna start feeling that the rice is sticking to the bottom and that's because all the moisture of the rice is um, cooked out and that's when you're gonna have to start adding your liquid but I want to go in now with some Chinese five spice powder and this gives a very very nice flavor with the um, the cook up rice and these are very good spices that they blend up together to make the Chinese five spice powder. So I'm gonna add here just about a teaspoon. And look at that. So I'm starting to stick, but this is smelling amazing. So, so I'm gonna add some cook up seasoning now. So now I'm gonna add my coconut milk and this is the thick fresh coconut milk that we squeeze from our omega juicer. And that's um, the milk of one whole coconut, about a cup and a half of milk. And of course, this is not enough to cook the rice, so I'm going to be adding some water. And I have some water warming up beside me, so we don't stop the cooking process. And I'm going to add that now. So you can always add as you go if you like your cook up rice on the drier side just add a little and you can always add as you go so now today I'm adding the married man pork from Guyana or the basil as we say about a teaspoon frozen one and then we're gonna Come back and check this out in a few minutes before I add my pumpkin and okra. So guys, we can't make the cook up rice without the peas. I just remember that I didn't add it. But I'm going to add, and this is the red peas that I had boiling earlier. And we're just going to mix it in now. 
and I'm gonna cover this and leave it to cook on medium and then I'll come back and check to see if I have to add more water but it's looking good already so we're gonna check this now I had it on medium and it is cooking up nicely but the rice still needs more water so I like to make my cook up in a nice color but the reason I didn't add any Chinese sauce or casserole because I'm using red peas and I didn't um, want to add too early I wanted to check the color first so this is looking nice with the red peas and I'm gonna add just a little bit of um, Pomeroon casserole and I have it right here this is the brand I'm using so just a little bit of this and I can richly smell that um, Mardman poke in here. Can you smell it? I can smell it, it smells so nice. So I'm gonna add a little bit just to enhance the color a little. And what I like about cook up rice, you can add just about anything into this dish and it will be very nice and flavorful. So today I'm going in with some carrots. I'm going in with one green plantain. My nanny used to put um, plantain and cassava and edo in her cook-up and it was a rich, nutritious cook-up. I remember that. If you don't want to add these into yours, you can absolutely leave them out. But for me, the plantain is full with iron and the um, carrots is very good for you too. I'm adding the rest of my green onions. In goes my pumpkin and this add a really nice sweetness to the dish and I have here my okra and I'm gonna add all some water some more water in here for the rice to cook and for the vegetables to cook as well so we'll turn this up And look how beautiful, rich, and colorful this is. I'm gonna just add my pepper on top. And we will let this cook again on medium until those rice grains are completely cooked. And I can't wait to let you guys know the flavor for this dish. So I have a bundle of fresh baby spinach. I'm just washing these out. And I will add this to the cook up rice as well. This is very, very delicious and nutritious for that pot of cook up rice. So let's check on this. And I have it on real low heat because I don't want the bottom to burn. And the rice is almost there. And everything is looking good. How does this look, guys? It looks real, real good. So I'm going to add my spinach now. I usually add the spinach close to the end. I have a nice big bundle. But once I add that, it's going to get all wither away. And we will barely see them back in the dish. So I have to add, cover this pot, and come back to it. And then I will show you guys how that looks. So I have my Banga Mary nicely washed and I cut them up into small pieces because it's easier to fry this way. I'm going to add some salt, enough to taste, some black pepper, and I will leave the amount in the description below. And I will go in with some green seasoning. And I have here one, two, three tablespoons of green seasoning. And my green seasoning have fine thyme, broadleaf thyme, green onion, garlic, and pepper. I will mix all this up, marinate it for like 10 to 15 minutes, and then I'll fry them. And show you how beautiful these will look to go with my cook up rice today so let's check how this baby is doing oh my goodness look at that that is a very very delicious looking pot and I can still see it's bubbling up 
Wow, and I have a pepper right here. My spinach is looking nice. I don't like them to overcook. There is another piece of pepper here. So what I'm gonna do now, and I'm just gonna test this planting because this is the hardest thing I have in here. And this is cooked. So I'm gonna turn off my stove and leave it covered for a few minutes before I plate up because I have to fry the fish now. And then I'll show you guys the entire dish after wow this is looking amazing so i have the fish um marinated for marinating for about 15 minutes now and look how beautiful and well seasoned they are i'm gonna lightly dust them in some flour and in my flour i have some a little bit of salt black pepper and a tiny bit of turmeric because I like when you fry them they come out with a nice golden brown color so I'm gonna keep on lightly flouring these and then I show you guys the next step so the fish is frying up nicely I have one more set to go and then I will be plating up very soon so I'm gonna flip these over now Ooh, nice, nice and golden brown. And then I'll let them fry for a few more minutes on that side. And they will be ready for our lunch today. So fried fish is done and looking very nice. I, um, I just made some cucumbers, cilantro, a little bit of lemon juice and... A sprinkle of pepper to go on top of this cook up rice I'm gonna plate up now and let you guys know how everything tastes so here is that pot of goodness look how beautiful this is you can see the pumpkin the spinach the plantain the peas okra carrot how rich is this dish so a delicious vegetable cook up for all my vegetarian friends and i made some fried bangamiri to go on top and some quick cucumber cilantro lemon juice and lime uh, salad to go with this i will play it up now and let you guys know how this tastes because i am drooling right now you guys come on down and have dinner with me so guys, here is that beautiful plate of vegetable cook-up rice with all the good stuff. I have my boiled pepper there and all the goodness. Serving this with some avocado, fried bangamiri, and I put some extra pepper sauce on my cucumber because you can't have cook-up rice without some hot pepper sauce. So today, before I do my taste test, I want to shout out to Rosina Jabbar and she is one of my very, very good friend. I've known her for years and years and years living in the US and she tried out my Vamazelli recipe and she um, made it and it, she said it came out very nice. It reminds her of Eid in Guyana. So right after this, I'm gonna show her success story. And I wanna say to Rose, congratulations, I'm very happy for you. So guys, I'm gonna do my test now, and I know you guys are probably drooling. I'm gonna dig in for some pepper sauce here. And I'm gonna do a little bit mix, and this is the red, peas and vegetable so for all my viewers and all my subscriber cheers to you guys mm. i am very very happy this tastes so good oh my goodness i wish if you guys can be here to try it and look at the fish this is the banga mary beautifully done and I have to take a mouthful with the Banga Mary for you guys. Let me know when was the last time you had some fried Banga Mary and cook up rice. 
Oh my god. I'm getting a hint of that married man pork in there and that rich flavor of thyme and all the goodness combined with that fish it is absolutely delicious so guys i'm gonna enjoy my dinner i want to say if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for please remember to press that subscribe button you only have to subscribe to one video until then i want to say to you guys stay safe stay blessed Bye for now.